Yo guys, welcome back to a new PCGO Legacy video. Today, guys, we're looking at a Durian Mill deck. Yes, guys, it is another Legacy video. If you guys want to show your support on the Legacy content, make sure to leave a like on the video to help the video get out there in the algorithm more so more people can see it and more people can maybe get interested in playing this format. Um, so if you guys want to go ahead and leave a like, it would be appreciated. But yes, Durant Mill is going to be the Legacy deck I'm going to be covering today. Um, it is a very powerful Legacy deck. It's one of the more, I guess, hated decks, but it's not as bad as Vile Plume or Hand Control, let's be honest. But Durant Mill can be a bit of a pain to play against, but it is very fun to play nonetheless. Playing a Mill deck is always a good time. Um, and Durant Mill is just as strong as in Legacy as it would be in any other format. Now, it's probably better in Legacy than it is in Expanded and definitely in Standard. Actually, it kind of ranks that way. It's like Legacy, Expanded, Standard in that order of good to bad. Of good to bad. But yeah, Dorian in Legacy has a lot of tools to work with. Um, some of the best cards are, of course, Rescue Scarf, Life Do, um, Junk Arm to get five Life Do's per match. Pretty insane. Um, there's Dual Ball, there's Level Ball, just a lot of really good cards in Legacy for Durant to work with. And it is arguably one of the best legacy decks so for the video guys push out to the sponsor card cabin tcg as always guys if you're ever looking for any pcgo pack outs get them over at card cabin card cabin sells codes online for the cheapest so if you guys are looking to pick up any set code still like battle styles shining fates vivid voltage darks of blaze or any other set code or you want to get a promo uh, gx or v code or an etb code a sleeve code theme deck code whatever you're looking for get them over at card cabin if you do get any codes over at card cabin at the checkout you can use my discount code code ldf for a five percent discount on your purchase help channel help yourself out and help out card cabin so yeah, big shout out to card cabin guys check them out and use code ldf if you get any codes over there also if you want to check out the video articles i've been posting over there i just posted one on an italian v max and a lab v vmax deck uh, definitely go check them out and leave some feedback so let's look at the list so this is the durant mill list i'm playing in legacy here um, it's a very powerful deck, as stated before. It's not unstoppable, though. There are many ways to beat it. Um, some decks like Garboder, uh, Landorus, spread decks like Flygon can body this deck. Uh, it's not, like, unbeatable. A lot of people do say this deck is insanely powerful in Legacy. It's not, like, that good. Let's, it's not honestly not that great. Like, it's good, but it's not, like, top-tier deck. It's, it's still powerful, though. Not sure I would want to bring this to a tournament, though, if that makes any sense. But it's a really, it's a fun ladder deck. Um... But yeah, the deck is just, it has so many things you can do. Um, we're just playing six Pokemon, as you can see. Just a Rotom, a Mime, and a Durant. Mr. Mime for the sniping attacks. Now, the Rotom is mainly here when combined with Elf Litograph. Now, this deck would be a budget deck. Unfortunately, this Elf Litograph, though, from Triumphant, it's actually kind of an expensive card. Um, it is in the set Triumphant, and basically it allows you to look at all of your prizes. That's all it does. It's pretty much a town map, except that it doesn't stick around forever. Now, you might be wondering, why would you ever play that? Well, you look at all of your face-down prize cards. Your opponent doesn't get to see them. And then what you can do, if you have a Rotom in play, if this is in play, basically, you can swap one of your face-down prizes with the top card of your deck. Notice how it says face-down prizes. This means you cannot play Rotom with town map, because if you could just play town map over Elf Litograph, you know, why would you not do that? The reason why you want to do this is because you can prize a Durant or two. And if you do that, you need to go Rotom Elf Litograph so you can grab the Durant out of the prizes. And it only works with face down prizes. So you have to play this Elf Litograph to get your face down prizes. And uh, yeah, you basically get your Durant put on top of your deck with Rotom, draw into it or something, or, you know, find it with dual ball, level ball. And that's how you basically get all four Durants in play if you prize a Durant. Um, yeah, there's just a bunch of other stuff in the deck. Uh, loss remover because special energy removal can buy you a turn of attacking life do and rescue scarf and silver mirror to buy you extra turns against team plasma decks and stuff like that got eight energy i am playing the special energy it doesn't really matter how that metal ener the energy assortion works in my opinion durant would only have 80 hp with the special energy on him 80 hp actually doesn't make a difference i find so it doesn't really matter how you sequence the energy counts here I like having the basic energy too for super on. I do play two of them. A lot of ways to get your Pokemon back in the deck, which I find very important. Um, but that's the deck. I mean, it's very powerful. We do play four twins because you're always, you're never taking prizes. You're always, always going to be behind in prizes. So twins is always going to be active. Uh, I've seen people play like four N. I don't like playing four N. It's good in the early game, but in the late game, you actually don't want to play N because sometimes your opponent can get more cards in their deck. So I find N is kind of a bad card to play in the late game. So I'm only playing three. Um, I got four oak and stuff instead, but yeah, that's my list. Very powerful deck. Let's go uh, see if we can win a couple games by milling the opponent. Okay, here we go. Getting into the first match with Durant Mill. We do win the coin flip. Now, we're going to let my opponent go first because we are playing a uh, deck that wants to go second, technically. So, we'll let my opponent go first here, and uh, we'll see how it goes and if we're able to win a game or two with this mill deck in Legacy. 
Um, definitely, it's a fun one to play. Durant Mill in both... You can play Durant Mill in Standard, Legacy, and Expanded. All three formats, except for Theme Deck. Oh my god, we mulligan six times. Bruh, not like this. We have a pretty good hand, though. Um, assuming we hit all these dual ball heads, we should be able to get all our Durants in play. Hopefully, we don't prize Durant, though. That's the only concern if we prize both Durant and Rodon, which is very unlikely, by the way. I have not yet. I haven't had that happen. I've priced Durant before, but I've never prized both Rotom and Durant. All right. I mean, it's actually fine that they get to draw a bigger hand. You know, There's just more cards we get to mill. Okay, we're up against Team Plasma, uh, which we can beat because we do play Silver Mirror. We have Lost Remover, which is really good in this matchup, too. The Curum is a little annoying, though, so we definitely want to make sure we counter that with a uh, Mr. Mime. But we should... Yeah, Team Plasma is definitely a matchup we can beat. For sure. They had a pretty good start, though. Oh, no. They got everything. No. <laughs> that stupid big hand. If they have a laser, I'm kind of shook. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna a little, be a little shook if they're playing. Uh, if they get a laser here. And they get a lucky hedge, but they do not. And there's the level balls. That guarantees Durant. We do have the ants in the deck. They're all there. We did prize a lost remover. I might, might try to look for that. But we have a pretty good hand. We need to make sure we get an energy, though. If we don't actually get an energy here, it could be a bit of an issue. Hopefully we can uh, get more heads on dual ball. I'm looking for Durant and Mr. Mime. There we go. Make sure we get all them down. Put that on. We'll play this again. Hopefully we don't get any heads. Okay, we get one heads. Okay, now we can get Rotom. We can fill our whole bench up. What am I saying? Okay. We can bicycle here. No energy. I'd say yikes. We'll have to just do mischievous trick here and take a gamble. We have all the Durants in place. We can't press a Durant by accident. So let's just maybe swap that prize. Who knows? Maybe our new top deck here is going to be a really good card. Yeah, not getting the energy there is not ideal. Missing out on a turn of milling can actually make a big difference here. But we still have Silver Mirror. We still have... Um, still Silver Mirror. We still have... Um, Lost Remover. We still have Life Dew to work with. Speaking of Tool Scrapper, they do find theirs really early on, which is not good. We do lose our Rescue Scarf. Ooh, they're playing Garbotoxin in their deck. That's not good. That can shut off Mr. Mime, which actually makes things very complicated. Hopefully, they don't have anything else going on in their hand here. Mm, Juniper, that's fine. That actually gets their entire... That draws seven more cards. And if only we got that four-card mill off this turn. Interesting enough, they actually can't one-shot my Durian here, even with a Laser Burbank. And they're going to target Mr. Mime. Can we draw an energy off that? No, dude. Mischievous trick. What are you doing? What are you doing? Right, let's just keep playing it. M missing out on these mill turns are really crucial. This is really bad. We do not want to be missing out. We could have milled eight cards by now. But we are throwing the bag very hard. Hopefully they just knock me out with Blizzard Burn. I mean, they're playing a lot of supporters. Like, we're, we can still win this. We can still win this. If they run out of Junk Arm 2, we can try to get Life Dew or Silver Mirror to stick. This game is still very much winnable. My opponent should maybe look to building up Keldeo, because if I do get Silver Mirror on, my opponent is in, is in trouble. Uh, we have to our own Tool Scrapper, I think. But I don't think it's going to do much anyways. Alright, let's see we draw. Okay, nice. We swapped the prize with an Oak. That's not bad. We don't really need to play it right now, though, because we do have Twins. Alright, so we'll play it. We'll grab... We'll grab energy could get tool scrapper but mime's not gonna get knocked out so we'll wait to grab that i think i'm actually gonna get um get silver mirror now make him play the junk arm yeah let's do it let's make him play another junk arm here we'll devour for four cards nice we hit some supporters we hit a laser which is good i like seeing the laser go bye bye this laser could be annoying. If they ever get, like, a lucky laser hedge, they can, like, frost spear me. No, they play two tool scrappers. You probably don't even need junk arm. Who's man's? No, dude. Not even a chance. Not even a chance. And now they're starting to build. Yeah, now they're building up the Keldeo. Oh, my gosh, dude. The double tool scrapper out of nowhere. Hate to see it. They still have three junk arm left. That's pretty bad, too. Oh, boy. There's a laser. Uh-oh, if that gets heads, that's going to be very annoying. Oh, and there's the heads. So now they can knock me out by give me getting KO. I'm going to get KO by Poison going back into my opponent's turn. That's super annoying. Can we please... Or, yeah, can we please wake up? 
Okay, that's what I was worried was going to happen, is they get a lucky laser hatch. They didn't get a prize, though. There's a loss remover. Didn't play that. Get rid of that, I guess. Play the twins. We're going to have to harder treat the Durant. Those twins for twins and energy. We'll have to harder treat Durant. If they knock, they're going to definitely knock out two Durants at some point, so... Get the raw, just in case. Devour. More energy is always good. We can't really run them out of energy, though, but the more energy we do mill, the better. Okay. They have 19 cards left in their deck. They still have to take five prizes. They have another laser. Maybe we should have looked to getting a tool on, actually, because they don't have a junk arm in their hand. Okay. Now our Durian will go down to poison. Ah, the poison damage makes me so awkward, bro. It's so annoying. Let's revive the Durian. We can kind of just keep retreating, I guess, and looping Durant that way. We'll get a we we'll get a silver mirror. We're out of twins though, <laughs> which is kind of annoying. Uh, put that on. Do the mirror. Hope they don't have a uh, junk arm in their hand. We'll mill them. Okay, we have another supporter is good. No, I don't really mind it getting end here, but that's fine. They have fourteen cards left. If silver mirror can stick this turn, I think we're vibing. Nope, they had a random receiver. Oh, and it's a Skyla, bro. That guarantees him the junk arm. Bruh. No, dude. This man, dude, this guy's getting so insane draws. What the hell? No, dude. Not the junk arm. I still think we're on part of winning this game, though. We're still pretty far ahead, I feel like. He might actually even just get a laser back, right? No, it's always silver. It's always junk arm. Or it's always an energy. Yeah, it's always tool scrapper. Good thing, if, if he was one-shotting me with Frost Spear, that'd be insane. If he doesn't take a prize this turn, though, I think we still win the game because we're still super far ahead. Okay, he does take a prize. All right, that's fine. Then we can super rod. Now, we can end him to three. This gives him two more cards in his hand, which means we can mill more cards. But I'm actually not going to do that because if all goes well, we actually technically should be able to... Um... Yeah, I'm not going to end him there because if all goes well, we should still be able to win this. His hand is very small, so we actually might get a life due to stick here. We'll devour again. Okay, another junk arm getting discarded is really good. That's he has one junk arm left, and it might be prized. Not to mention we hit a catcher there, which is good. Catcher could be annoying. If he doesn't knock out, if he doesn't get the prize here on my Durian this turn, we're in a really good spot. We're in a really good spot. Okay. He knocks out my Mr. Mime still, I guess. I guess that works too. Fine though. I think we're still going to win this. We're pretty far ahead. Um, rescue Scarf. Don't want to... I think we just mill him, right? Yeah, let's just devour him. I'm not going to play any tools. I'm not going to play the Rescue Scarf because he could play Tool Scrapper. We are going to win the game, actually, unless he has, like, a Super Rod. I think we have game here next turn. My opponent can't take a prize. We don't know if he has a Junk Arm yet. Okay, he has a Laser. That's fine. As long as it isn't Tool Scrapper, me, it doesn't matter. The only way he could win is if he had a way to gust something and knock out this Durant with Frost Spear, but that's not going to happen. And that is game. He decks himself out. Does my opponent have any way? Nope. No, nothing. And that will be game with Durant Mill versus Team Plasma. You'll love to see it. And there you go. That's pretty much how the deck works in Legacy. Very fun to play. And again, I think Team Plasma is a very favorable matchup for sure because you have a lot of disruption. You have Lost Remover. Silver Mirror is really good too. I get into another match. We've lost the coin flip. Again, if we can go second, it's not a big deal because we do get to go turn one Durant. And all right, we got there. See, as long as we just don't start with Rotom um, or Mr. Mime, it's fine. Like, you could play a Floatstone if you do start with them, but, you know. Oh, we're not really playing against an actual, like, insane deck like we were last game. Our start is okay, though. We do have a level ball to play and a Junk Arm. Uh, but I actually find Junk Arm more beneficial to get Life Dew back. Like, and there's a Dual Ball. We just need to make sure we get an energy down. But yeah, I find that Junk Arm, you don't actually have to play for level ball. Like, I would rather just Junk Arm here for Life Dew and just loop Life Dew over. So I don't really want to do that. There's a Calm. Um, I mean, we can still maybe beat him. I mean, they could have some crazy tech card that can, like, completely body us. I don't know. Let's see. Um, nice. Another level ball. Ooh, we did prize a Durant. So we do have to try to get Durant. That's with the Dual Ball first. Doesn't really matter how I sequence that. Bro, never lucky. Never lucky. Well, we do get to Lost Remover them here. I'm just going to Oak. I, I could have played the Junk Arm. Maybe I should have. I don't really want to give up a Twin, so. 
Yeah, we got the energy. We didn't get the Rotom, so we're not gonna be able to do the Durian just yet. But we'll just devour here for three. It's fine. And I honestly am tempted just to hold the hand until they KO me, right? So we can play twins. So we can twins and try to sequence a play where we get to see the Rotom or the Durian off the prizes and then draw into the Durian. So I actually think I'm gonna hold the twins. I'm gonna hold the hand potentially. We'll see. The Omega, I mean, let's have another DC. They're not knocking me out anytime soon. They don't even attack me this turn. Okay, if we had a special energy here, maybe we would be a little bit more tankier. Let's put that on and we'll just devour. Mill three cards. Not as good as four. We do get rid of a DC and a crushing hammer. That's good. The hammer, definitely something I don't want to see. Yeah, they're not even taking a prize this turn. Even if they don't get another G next turn, they can't even take another prize. All right, what do we top deck? Another energy. All right, devour again. Just keep devouring here. Just keep on milling. Keep on milling. Yeah, and then we'll twins next turn. Assuming we don't lose our rescue scarf, we'll twins for the Rotom and the uh, Alphalitograph. I guess Yamega can one-shot me. Maybe we should actually get special metal energy here. We'll see. If we can draw into a Rotom or something. We did not. I do want to get that fourth Durant, but I actually think I am going to... You know what we can do instead? We can just get... We can probably just get Rotom in the Metal Energy. We don't even... We have like a one in six chance of drawing into the Durant. Let's try to... Let's go for it. YOLO. Which which prize card y'all assuming it is? I'm going to say it's the top one here. All right. I'm, who wants to make a bet? And it's safe to do the Rotom because we have no Durant in the deck anyway. So it's not like we're putting a Durant in the prizes, so... Just, we'll do a mischievous trick every turn. We'll just keep going by the prizes until we hit Durant, I guess. Um, seems fine to me. We could just keep getting the special metal. See, like, I, you could play four of these, but, like, it, I just don't see, like, it's not, like, the damage reduction doesn't really make a difference in this deck. Okay, so we had a level ball. That's what that was. It was a level ball. Okay. Let's do it again. Let's go. We'll go one by one. Do that one next, and then we'll devour. We could, actually, no, we could have played the level ball to see what that was. Oh, oh, not, well, no, we could have played the level ball to actually see if the Durant was in the deck. That was a misplay. I should have done that. I, I could have actually gotten the Durant in play. Oops. Oops. Nah, it's all good. All right, we're just going to twins. All right, let's see. Was it Durant? It was not Durant. Okay. We'll play the twins for uh, revive and uh, special. Oh, no. We prized the special medals. Oh, maybe that's what we put in the prizes, actually. Nah, that's a bra moment right there. Jeez. Take life do, I guess. This guy, this guy, I don't think this even this guy even plays a counter to my life do. Let's go again. This one will be Durian. All right, then we can play the level ball. No, it wasn't Durian. No. Oh, but we got the special medal out of the deck finally. Uh, well, we might as well catch her here. Nice. That could buy us a turn. This can't one-shot my Durian anyway, so let's devour. We gotta hit the Durian at some point, bro. We've gone through half of our prizes. That means the last half of our prizes has to be that Durian. I guess we could have gone Alphaletograph by now, too, if we really wanted to, but I, th I don't think it matters. No, they had a switch. Damn it. They have 19 cards left. I think we're still winning this. Just to try to get Junk Arm at some point. Uh, not having the four Durian, though, is kind of hurting us. Like Twins. Get Revive. Get Special Metal. Revive the Durian from the Grave. Mischievous Trick. Okay. This bottom card is going to be Durian. I'm calling that right now. Then we'll Devour. They have six, 15 cards left. Can be close. We can oak next turn. We need to get, we need to get junk arm to get back uh, life due in order to win this. Can Toxro KO me? It cannot because we have resistance to psychic. Okay, cool. Maybe we should play the four special metal. I don't know. I just don't find it like insanely helpful. Oh, it's Mr. Mime, bro. My guy, you need to chill. Oak. See if we can find a junk arm. Nice. Hmm. That uh, it has to be. We could just get rid of the other junk arm, I guess, right? No. I think it has to be dual ball. 
Let's get life, dude. I was thinking about maybe getting, um... I was thinking about, because if we keep the dual ball, we can actually get the durian of the prizes, right? Okay, this bottom card, that has to be durian. That has to be the durian. If we could have gotten the durian, they were dual ball, if we got heads. But if not, we might have shuffled the deck, and then it, we might have gotten double tails and shuffled the deck. So it's probably better if we just do this instead. And then we'll twins next turn, or revive and, um, revive and durian. All right, cool. We can finally start milling four cards. My opponent still take four prizes, so I think we have game. Yep, yeah, it was durian. All right, finally. Finally, finally, finally. We can go get Revive <laughs> and Rescue Scarf. Sure. I do want to play this Junk Arm, though. When we can't really. I don't want to get rid of the Juniper. All right. Um, let's Mischievous Trick. I think I had a special metal. I think this top card was special metal energy, I'm pretty sure. So let's put that there. All right, Devour. We're milling four cards now. I think we're winning the game. I think we're winning this. We do need energy for next turn, actually. Shoot. Well, no. If, if my, my my logic is correct, I should have put a special metal on top of the deck, right? We could whiff energy, though. I guess that could be a problem. I'm pretty. Is that a special metal? It's got to be, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Not. No. It was a junk arm. Bruh. Okay. One of these are special metal energy. I think maybe that one. Who's in these junk arm stings? We're very close to winning this. It was. All right. It was that one. I knew it. Why not? Let's look at our prizes. Okay, so we have a medal there. Bunch of supporters. Okay, Devour. All right, now we should win the game. They don't knock me out as long as they don't play like laser and then we should be able to mill them. This was a very weird match. Oh my gosh, this was a very weird game. All right, there we go. Got him. Got him. All right, there, that's the power of the Rotom. I know we didn't get a combo with all Flitograph. We didn't really get to play it. Oh, they had a hammer left. Could have gotten heads there. All right, there we go. Another dub. I know we weren't playing against actual, an actual deck, but when you're playing in Legacy, sometimes you just have to play against people who are playing decks like that. You just, it's its part of the format. Okay, here we go. Getting into another Legacy match here. Could be up against a Ray Eels deck is what I'm assuming it is, judging from the Lightning Coin. We'll have to see though. We do win the coin flip. Again, we're going to let my opponent go first. Um, making us go first is fine too. Oh no, we got the road on start. Uh-oh. Thankfully, we have an energy to go with it, so we can at least retreat it. Not the best starter. We do have the combo, though, so we get to peek at our prizes here, which I do like. I do like that. We could take a little, uh, little peek at our prizes. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I think I should screenshot my prizes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull out the uh, old screenshot tool here real quick before we play Alpha Litograph. All right. So it is right eels. They do have Raikou down right away, which is a little scary. Oh, Skyo Bridge. Let's go, bro. That's so good for us. Oh, you love to see it. Now we can just move the Rotom for free. All right, let's see what we draw. Dual Ball is a great draw. Let's see if we get another head. No, dude, what a bad card. All right. We're going we're gonna to Juniper the hand away. We're going to play the Dual Ball again. We're doing it. I really want to get double heads. I want to take advantage of them not having that great of a setup. Okay, we did prize a Durant. All right, so we know we're going to get the Durant off the prizes here. Let's go Elf Litograph. I'm going to pull out the screenshot tool real quick. That's boom. There we go. Let me just quickly save it. I know. Very funny. There we go. Boom. All right. So Durant is the bottom prize. Okay, cool. Okay. Fine. So which one was Durant again? Bottom. Okay. So we go boom. Get the Durant, which is this one right here. Hopefully we don't swap a Durant with a Durant. We'll see though. Okay, nice. Dual ball. Hopefully we get double head so we can go quad Durant. Hey, let's go. We do have the mime in the deck, which is good too for the Raikou. All right, we got a really good setup here. We're vibing. Just devour. All right, see, so we get rid of, we get rid of Rayquaza. Nothing really insane, to be honest. I guess the energy discards are not bad either, but nothing. You want The big cards you want to hit are Junk Arms and Tool Scrapper. Eels would be good too. Depending on how my opponent goes here, we might not have to worry about getting Volt Bolted, but we do need to try to get the Mime down ASAP, though, because Volt Bolt is scary. They do have a Super Rod right away, though, which will kind of reset our Devour a little bit. They do have an Energy Search in their hand. They could Thunder Fang me and get really lucky and get a Heads, which is what I'm kind of scared is going to happen here. Yeah, they could get a Lucky Heads on Thunder Fang, so hopefully we're uh, going to be able to be okay. Yeah, they had an Oak in their hand. Yeah, if they get a heads on Thunderfang, that's going to make things very awkward and complicated. 
Probably the Juniper the hand away. We need to find Mr. Mime here. Yeah, Mr. Mime. Ooh, they don't go Thunderfang. Interesting. Very interesting that they didn't do that. Okay, so what else could we get off the prizes? We have a level ball in the top corner there. Let's get the let's get that level ball so we can guarantee the Mr. Mime here. Sure. And before we swap the prizes with Mr. Mime, that'd be hilarious, right? Ooh, got the life too. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't swap it. Very low chances, but you never know. Um Yeah, I'll put the life two on now. We'll just go to Vower. We'll see if we hit a junk arm. No, we do hit a Tynamo and a level ball, though, which isn't bad. Those are decent. We want to be hitting Junk Arms, so hopefully the Life Dew sticks for a couple turns here, and they don't have the Scrapper in their hand. That's one thing I find with Legacies. The opponent always seems to have the Tool Scrapper in their hand every single time. They have a 1 in, like, 39 chance of having it in their hand here because they have 33 cards. They do have a Junk Arm. Good thing it's on the discard pile. What do they get with this? Level Ball for Tynamo? The, the, the opponent always seems to find their tool scrapper, so hopefully they don't find it. Maybe it's prize. So the tool scrapper's prize is really good for us. We really want this turn here where we get to have um, the tool scrapper or the life do stick. All right, one time. One time, don't have it. Do they have it? Nice, let's go. Beautiful. This is what we needed. We needed that turn where they didn't have it and we're chilling all right Let's see we draw here we need to find revive which we should be able to find right easy peasy bro we just draw it now we do have a twins in the prizes and i do kind of want that twins no cap that twins is looking very spicy let's oak yeah we have a twins in the middle there tempted to go for it Ooh, we got tool scrapper we can play that right now get rid of their float stone they probably have another one but we'll still get rid of it and we'll just we want the twins. I mean, we don't really have to get it this turn, so we'll just devour. We don't have to get it this turn. Our hand's pretty good. Ooh, we hit a junk arm. We also hit a chorus. All right, that's good. I get out a stack view, actually. Yeah, hitting the junk arms are good. The more junk arms I get rid of, the better. The better, the better. All right. Again, they probably do have the Keldeo play here um, with the float stone on, so I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, see, they already have it. Worth a shot, though. So now it's just going to come down to, can we deck them out before they take all of their prizes? That's what it's going to come down to. They do play Catcher in their deck, right? Yeah, they have Catcher. They could play another Catcher and knock out my Mr. Mime, which will give him access to Volt Bolt. But again, we do have Rod, and we have four revives, so it's actually not a big deal. They Junk Arm, and they are now in top deck mode, I think. Unless they get a Jirachi here, but if they do that, that's just sending out the deck even more for us. Okay, now they're in top deck mode completely. This is really good. I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess, but that's, like, good. Because it's like, we don't have to worry about Junk Arm or anything. So what we actually could do is we could Junk Arm for a Life Do again if we can find one here. Oh, no, we don't need a Revive. What am I saying? I was talking last year we need a Revive. We don't actually know. All right, we're reviving. We're in a really good spot right now. Um, we're on part of winning the game. And see, this is why I don't like having N in the deck. Because if I had to end them here, like, it would it'd be good because I get to deck them out quicker. But it would also hurt our chance of Life Do sticking. So it's like, this is why I don't really want to end them in this scenario anyway so let's oak uh this time we'll swap the twins let's see if we can find that last junk arm we do okay we'll get rid of the end the dual ball we'll get that life do wherever it's at there we go I do you want that junk arm of the prizes it's the top corner let's get it i want that i want that junk arm and then we'll just play the devour we're not gonna play anything else let's devour them Nice, we hit a Juniper. They're running out of supporters now. And before they draw one, though, they have 16 cards left. So they still, they can still attack every single turn thanks to the Keldeo loop, but, and they take enough prizes to win in time. Nope, they concede the match. Duran Mill gets a dub against Right Eels. And there you go. That's pretty much how the deck plays in Legacy. I'm going to wrap today's Peach video on the deck here. Very fun deck to play. Um, again, if you guys want to try out this Duran Mill deck yourselves, Give it a try. It's very fun to play. But that'll be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like in the video once again to support legacy content. Help it get out there. Uh, check out the sponsors down below. Um, I check my socials, uh, my Twitch, my Twitter, my Patreon. Uh, all that good stuff. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the legacy video. I will have another legacy video coming out eventually, too. I'm going to kind of start uploading more legacy content now, so there will be another legacy video at some point. I have a really cool deck uh, in mind for my next legacy video. It's a very unique idea I've never seen before in legacy. It's kind of a crazy deck, so I'm going to be testing that out soon. Uh, but, yeah, peace out.